Hey everyone, Pusker here, and today in Warframe, we're going over the brand new AoE shotgun, the Steflos. Now this gun is kind of like a Tenon Archiplasmor styled weapon. As you can see, it shoots out a little like Lotus Flower AoE, and it has a special gimmick. The more enemies you hit, the farther and larger the projectile travels. So it's a very odd gun, but it's very much like a Tenon Archiplasmor. And it does have innate heat damage or status. So overall, it's actually not too bad, but it's more of a status gun than a crit gun. So you're not going to be pulling off the highest damage numbers on this. But overall, it is still good to use in Warframe and definitely usable in Steel Path. Just so you get kind of like a good idea of how the gun actually shoots and works, we'll go over to some enemies, no mods, and just I'll show you how it shoots, right? You hit them and it grows and hits some more enemies. So you could do like that and it starts hitting. And then you can see the ones that don't hit enemies go a lot less in distance. So it does require you to hit a lot of enemies. So it's kind of like a low tier bad tenant Archiplasmor. And it just doesn't do the same type of damage. But again, it is innate heat damage, so it's not really terrible, terrible. It's just maybe not the best type of weapon for Steel Path. If you're curious on the type of build I'm using, currently this is my damage regular high power build that I am using. You can change it to whatever you want, right? I have it on corrosive. You can make it the good old viral heat, right? Just change up whatever you feel like, but I want to throw on prime mods for now. So it's corrosive heat. And this is the general gist of it, right? Prime point blank for damage. Galvanize health for multi-shot, pretty much must have. Galvanize savvy for more status and more damage on the statuses, right? Because I put on prime charge shell for more damage on electric. And then I have primed ravage for crit and critical deceleration also for crit. Since this thing is a manual shot, not like automatic, I don't want too high of a fire rate because then it just like becomes annoying clicking that like five times a second. So no added fire rate and critical deceleration is A-OK -okay with me. And then yeah, Toxic Barrage there and Vigilante Armaments for even more multi-shot. You can add on, change around, whatever you feel like. No need to put in punch through since it has infinite punch through. I thought about putting in, I think it was, I have it on my other build, my config B. Could put on a fire like blaze for damage heat or one of the ones like is it vicious spread yeah more damage more spread there's a lot of other things you can try to throw on I don't think hunter munitions with crit is good enough to throw on it but you do you right so you can do anything this is my second messed around with status build where I just yeet all the status on it pay it no mind it's more for fun and to mess around with but hey it is there and this is a seven forma Steflos right now so it's definitely maxed out because I've galvanized acceleration right here as well and that just means more beam projectile length and area so it's just a good thing you generally want to throw on for ease of use right but I digress you do whatever you feel like doing so that's the generals around the Steflos with this general build without any buffs mods etc you see it at almost 2,000 corrosive damage with 42% crit chance nothing amazing nothing too low though so okay and a 4.6 times crit multiplier okay that's pretty good right not too mad at that and the status of 52.8 so that's also good so all around it does have good stats 2.4 fire rate does suck but since it's such a large aoe weapon and i really don't want to strain fingers shooting this gun it's fine high multi-shot reload whatever pretty accurate and all that is great it doesn't have the most ammo but it doesn't have the least amount of ammo either so hey not bad overall 12 ammo 36 magazine right and if we just yeah we have the corrupted bomber spawn up I'll show you how the actual damage is on it and then I'll throw on my buffs to see how the added damage so we're instantly gonna kill this dude and then you'll just see once we start getting some damage bonuses in even with uh, my just corrosive heat it's still gonna do some damage right take out some enemies it's not like I've specifically built to kill the bombards, but hey, it is corrosive, so it's bound to do some. Then your damage starts getting added up, and then once primary merciless, because that's the arcane I have on, starts popping off, your damage is, you know, a lot better, and then you start blasting through everyone a hell of a lot easier than you were before. But that's the thing around this weapon, right? It's not the type of weapon where you're really going to 
care too much about specifically hitting one or two enemies. No, you're just gonna go out of your way to hit them all, right? Build up some stacks on it, build up some buffs, then you start hitting all the enemies down the line, you do more damage, it's like, whoa, that's actually a pretty decent weapon, so. It's the funny thing about Warframe now, is you literally always have to start stacking kills before properly showing off how good or bad a weapon is, and then you just keep going. So let's go run into a steel path, run it for five minutes, and just see in general how the weapon does operate. But it, you'll see, if you feel like throwing on buffs like, oh, there's Eclipse, uh, your damage is gonna kinda go through the roof. So you can just run around and do whatever you feel like after that. And then, yeah, your damage is gonna be a lot higher if you have, what, any type of damage increase, roar. Eclipse is like all over the place because the lighting in the ball ballroom simulacrum kinda sucks. So you gotta like stand over here to get that damage buff in like a couple areas around here. But either way, good, would recommend. Now let's go into Steel Path. Okay, now that we're in Steel Path, we'll wait for a lot of the enemies to start spawning up. But you're gonna quickly see, I'll throw up all my buffs. Regular Steel Path enemies die very quickly to a weapon like the Steflos. Like, they do not last a long time. I'm running Protea just so I have to worry a little bit less about health. I'll just throw around my orbs as usual. Like, look at that. It's just too useful, right? Too useful. That's the thing, the Corrupted Bombards there are always like, a lot harder to kill, that's why it's nice showing them off. And then you just go buck wild with kills using this right here. Right, throw down all your buffs here, and then you just uh, do a little spin around, hit all the enemies, get a bunch of kills, and then you're like good to go. Barely even need to pay attention to where you're shooting, that's the nice part. You just have to shoot in the general direction of enemies, and you're gonna get kills. Like, I'm hitting almost uh, 100,000s and stuff there randomly. Oh, yeah, I didn't have orb, health orb down there. Oh well, rip. But that's okay. It's a really nice weapon to use overall. And since it has infinite punch through, you're not really gonna have to worry about anything in regards to that. You're just gonna hit enemies. And since the projectile speed is so fast with like my galvanized projectile, it just, uh, it just yeets across. I love it. Then I just stand here and use the gun. And that's essentially just how it works, right? If you want to min-max it perfectly, I think you just like sit in a corner like this, throw down all your defensive buffs, just like do that, and then go like this, and you'll kill everyone in the doorway. Like zero <laughs> survivors. <laughs> RIP. And that's how you just uh, sit in a corner with the Steflos, like a true Warframe Wukong professional, right? We could do this for eh, another hour if we felt like it. We have our little uh, sister of Parvos right there. You just gotta check the left and right sides once in a while. Come out to grab some of your loot, right? Hit the enemies with our galvanized acceleration. We'll still get a lot of damage off. Oh, don't wanna go out too far. We might get hit and uh, die if we do that. You can even throw your Protea turrets back there as like another defensive measure if anyone gets into the doorway. This is essentially how you AFK farm a lot of Void Mott, or like just Steel Path Void Mott. You find this sort of little side room here, and then you just sit in here as a, just a sweet assassin, right? Look at that. But that's the damage on the Stephlos, let me know what you think about it. I definitely like it, and I'm probably gonna use it here and there. Just cause it's like a weaker Tenant Archiplasmor. It has innate heat, but it's still like weak, weak, right? Like, don't get me wrong, it's not bad but it's not stronger than a Tenant Archiplasmor, like damage-wise. It's still a good weapon. It's just not stronger damage-wise. Is that four? Still? Ugh, so annoying, like actually killing him when he spawns up sometimes. He's just getting in the way. But yeah, it'll hit like five figures, six figures, depending on how you build up. Once you throw on your Eclipse, you start hitting your crits. If you have any like big crit boosters other than your just general build, you're gonna do way more damage, right? Oh, I stepped out of my little uh, orb area. I don't usually bother doing Steel Path solo with Protea, but usually she's still good, right? <laughs> Just gotta pay more attention to that, but that's okay. Either way, the Stephlos itself as like a weapon is still killer, so you're not gonna have too many issues in that. Right, look at that, beautiful. And then you just sit, sit back here and you're like, okay. Anything that walks anywhere remotely close, you just blast them. That's the current power. 
and it just helps a lot because it is innate heat. So people love throwing on their viral heat no matter what they do. That's just uh, the way Warframe is, baby. Doing all the damage with the turret, doing all the damage with the heat. And it builds up a lot. And it definitely uh, definitely helps the meta of the Warframe, right? Whenever there's a new type of inherent heat weapon. Since heat's like so good, right? Obviously it's pretty meta in a sense. It doesn't have the farthest attack range though. Even with hitting it a lot of, a lot of enemies, I feel like the Stephalos doesn't have the best fire range, right? Disagree, agree, it's fine. I just feel like it could be better, you know? Oh no, an Arctic Eximus. Yeah, the thing it's not shredding through is Eximus units, but hey, Steel Path Eximus are stronger, so whatever. It just be like that, I guess. It just be like that. Oh, and then our. Then your boy coming over here, Misery. Just get yeeted by the Steflos, right? No chance, Misery. No chance. Then we'll go over here and, like, pick up all our life support again. And now we're good. So I feel like a lot of people will be running viral on uh, the Steflos for obvious reasons. That's why it's always worth bringing that up, even if I'm running Corrosive Magnet or whatever. Magnetic or whatever I feel like running. But overall, it is really good. It's just a weaker version of some other weapons with a kind of a cool gimmick of more enemies, farther bullet, right? I like it and I'm gonna use it, so maybe you will too. Who knows? You can still get it on Tyana's Pass on Mars, just have to complete the uh, Heart of Deimos quest in order to actually do all that. So thank you all for watching, sub like. This week I'm probably gonna be playing Warframe, Destiny, and Genshin as there's a ton of updates around all of those games. So if you wanna support the channel, sub like, join the membership, join all the social medias down in the description. And if you wanna be nice, you can always donate or super chat if you catch me live on YouTube. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Cheers.